Hey, it's dead here. Saturday and uh, part of the cloudy sky sitting on the front porch. Living down expectations. Remember the 47% have got something on my mind today. Actually, I got a lot of things on my mind, but this one I ran across today kind of pissed me off. Yes, it did. There was this uh, uh, congressman. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Republican congressional candidate John Custer uh, had had these really sweet words to say today. So listen to this. Those who dare to invest, those who dare to work hard or succeed. And it seems to reward the mediocrity, dare I say it, slothfulness and laziness of those who choose not to do those things and furthermore it, it, it creates a dependency it promotes a dependency on government programs even an addiction i would say by virtue of this sense of entitlement that it creates and i can tell you those people aren't the 99 percent and not enough piss you off not if you're the one percent not if you're 53 percent no 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 uh the the poor are just lazy and slothful see what he said he says uh, it seems to reward mediocrity you know helping the poor slothfulness and laziness oh shit all these lazy people that sucks done it damn another uh, article on think progress back in uh, October 2nd this uh, billionaire businessman uh, his name is Sam Zell and he says why is it always assumed that somebody doesn't succeed because he can't as opposed to he doesn't want to or isn't incentivized to Mr. Zell says poor people are not incentives in this are not incentivized they have been disincentivized in other words in redneck speak we just too damn lazy we like it the way it is getting that government hand out yeah give me that government hand out horse shit people it's horse shit now listen, here's here's a piece that was in the Guardian, uh, the UK Guardian. Why is it this stuff shows up in the British newspapers and not in our media? You tell me that. This particular piece was about West Virginia, and the title of it is called "West Virginia's Poor Feel the Pinch." It's a choice: medicine or food. Inequality is one of the biggest problems in America, but is rarely mentioned during the campaign, the article says. The Guardian traveled to West Virginia to see how residents think poverty plays in the election. That was a uh, October 12th article, actually, that just came out, like yesterday. The article says, poverty and inequality were supposed to be big issues in this year's campaign. The growing gulf between rich and poor became a hot issue in 2011 as a result of the Occupy Wall Street protests. And the latest official figures show things getting worse, not better. Of the 34 rich country members of the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, only Chile, Mexico, and Turkey are more unequal he goes on to say but for all President Barack Obama's rhetoric over taxing the 1% or the brief firestorm that followed the disparaging remarks Mitt Romney made about the 47% he claimed to pay no income tax many feel the plight of America's poor is being 
ignored. No shit, people. Further on, the article says, while Romney pledges to cut entitlements, people on minimum wage of seven sixty-five an hour struggle to meet their most basic needs. And then he goes on to say, ask whether poverty was an issue in the election for America's politicians. An outreach worker in West Virginia named Annie Owens said, this is not an issue for them. If we tell them this is going on, they don't believe us. They think we are hillbillies. That this is our choice. That this is the way we want to live. But often, it's not a choice. It's not the way people want to live our lives. They forget about the small people. Hello? Duh. Small people. I'm a small people. We don't get food stamps. We don't get uh, public assistance. My children do depend on Medicaid because they are foster adopt and they get Medicaid. And if they didn't, we would be so screwed to pay for any medical bills they need. We couldn't do it. I'm a veteran. I use the VA because I can't afford to go to a doctor if I don't use the VA. So, you know, I'm, you know, Maxie the Moocher too. And there's a hell of a lot more people worse off than we are who can't afford shit. And they want to get out and they can't. Minimum wage, are you kidding me? Hey, rich guy, next time you go to Walmart or McDonald's, take a look and see how hard them poor folks are working. And they ain't getting paid shit. Most of them have no medical benefits. Most of them have no benefits of any kind. Certainly no retirement. You shove people down into a hole. And they can't get out. They can't make enough money. They can't get a job to pay enough to do more than survive. And they still have to go get some food stamps so their family don't starve. They do without medical care. And they live this way for a generation. And they grow old with nothing and no retirement. And when they're old, all they have is Social Security and, and Medicare. And you fucking people want to cut that off too. I had a client once when I was a welfare worker. She was one of these people down on the low end. But she got the tax credit, you know. And you know what she did with it? She went out and bought a car and a mobile home. Man, I tell you, I would not like to see that mobile home. I'll bet you it was not much. Because she gave less than a thousand bucks for it. But she was so happy because she had her own home and her own car. And she could get on her feet. And it wasn't long that she was gone from my caseload. A lot of people are stuck, and they know it, and they can't get out. And whose fault is that? It's your fault, Mr. Rich Guy, because you don't get it. You don't understand. You're a selfish prick if you don't help take care of the poor. And I don't mean a few handouts or 10% in the damn plate when you go to church either, because that ain't shit. You go to your mega church and you throw your 10% in there so they can buy new choir robes. I know of a church here that bought tuxedos for their band. Are you kidding me? Tuxedos for their band. I heard that. I couldn't believe it. It is very close relative ghost to that church. Made me want to puke. You did. If you're offended by that, too damn bad. Lots of people have nothing. One of the largest group of people that's homeless today are veterans. Veterans. Guys that were sent overseas and fucked up in the head. And now they can't survive because their brain is messed up and they can't get a good job. They can't hold a good job. So they're on the street. Yeah, that's right. 
They're poor. They're slothful. They're lazy. They've been disincentivized. That's right. So come on. Wake up, people. Y'all be stupid. Give a damn about poor folks. And that's that. Oh, <laughs>